Hey guys, it's Brittany again, and today I'm coming to you with another wig review. Now, this wig review is brought to you again by sisterwigs.com, and the wig that they sent me to review is Model Models Deep Invisible Part Lace Front Wig um, in the style Tana, and the color SOH995130, and this is what Tana looks like and on the package. That's what Tana looks like. And this is the, the name and the color. Okay, so in my box, Sister Wigs, they sent me a container of hairpins, which is really nice. And they also sent me a, a container full of bobby pins. Because I lose bobby pins a lot, so I really appreciate them sending that to me. Um, and they also sent me some... They also sent me some synthetic wig leave-in conditioning spray. Well, this is what the bottle looks like. So I'll eventually spray this on my wigs just to see how it works. But I think that's cool that they sent me that. But anywho, this is really pretty for this time of year. It has colors of like burgundy and it has some orangey coppery colors. And then the root is black, so that's pretty cool. This is another skin top wig. This is my third skin top wig. I had Free Tress Mizzy and Model Model Siri that I reviewed a few weeks ago. Um, so this is another skin top wig, and that's what the skin top looks like. Now, I don't mind the skin tops too much, but I know it does bother some people. You get like, you get like half an inch or maybe less than that of actual lace and then it goes into the skin top part. So this is what the inside of the cap looks like. We have a comb on the right side, a comb on the left side, and then this skin top area, and then a comb in the back, and adjustable straps as well. Okay, so I have my hair braided for a middle part. If you guys wonder how I get my wig so flat, I will put on the info card a video where I show my braiding pattern for a side part and I'll put it in the description box for you guys. So I'm just going to try it on. Okay, so this is how Tana looks just kind of fresh out the pack. I did comb the curls out a little bit last night, but other than that, I haven't manipulated the wig. Um, just right off the back, it does have some hump action up here, um, which I don't like. I'm gonna spray it down and hopefully it goes away or you could use um, like a flat iron or a curl wand to make sure it goes flat. Or you could turn it inside out on your mannequin head for a few days and just spray some water over it and it'll go flat that way as well. So this is what the partner space looks like unmanipulated. I think the part in space looks um, pretty good. The only part that doesn't look good is right here. So I'm going to pull some hairs out right there and then put some powder in it to make it look even more natural. But this color is really beautiful. And this wig falls on me about 20 inches and I'm six feet tall. So this is how long it is on me in the front. It goes underneath my chest. So that was the front. This is the left side. And here is the right side. And here is it all to the back. So what I'm gonna do now is pull some hairs out of this part and just blend my edges to make it look really cute. So hold on one second.
Okay guys, I'm back and I have fixed the part and gelled my edges down. This is what the parting space looks like now. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I will say that this wig definitely has some cone action and it might have to do with the skin top. Um, Cause my hair is braided down pretty flat. I might have to get a hot tool like my flat iron or my uh, curling wand and run it over it because even after I sprayed the water it's still a little bit humpy but I think it's pretty flat um, but I don't think that's like too much of a big deal so that's a con the humpiness um, but I think that's a pretty easy fix the cap size I feel like it's pretty snug on my head so it's not it's not like super roomy but it fits my head and it's pretty and I have a pretty big head so I think this is a little on the snug side the density of this wig I think this this density is a very natural density it's not super full but it's definitely not too thin in my opinion um, I think this has like a medium realistic density as far as shedding goes it's been minimal I haven't noticed it too much so it's not a big deal at all the luster on this wig is I think it's a pretty good luster. It's not shiny to me. And the texture is somewhere in between yakky and silky. It's not all the way silky and it's definitely not like, you know, Free Dress Heaven or Janie. Um, it's not that kind of yakky. It's in between. I just think this color is so beautiful. I love how I look in reds. And this particular red is so nice for the fall. I'm definitely gonna pull this one out this weekend. I'm really excited about that. And then middle parts. I really love side parts, but with this kind of um, this kind of style, I tend to like it in the middle. So uh, this wig definitely has the potential to tangle. So that's something, I mean, you have to expect with a wig that's this long and has this kind of curl pattern. Um, so this is a, a wig you'll probably have to carry a paddle brush in your pocket. <laughs> You'll have to carry a paddle brush when you wear this wig, so uh, keep that handy in your purse. Um, I don't remember how much this wig was. It probably it probably was like thirty something dollars, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, I'll put the price of it on the screen for you guys, and a link in the description box if you are interested in purchasing this wig. Try it on the side as a side part for you guys, um, even though my hair is braided for a middle part so hold on one second okay guys so i have turned it to a side part and i think it's really pretty even though my hair is not braided for a side part and part is actually sitting on top of a braid um but i still think this wig is pretty as a middle and a side part so i have gotten some shedding but it might have to do with me pulling hairs out of the parting space but i have gotten some shedding um Overall, I really like this wig. I can't wait to wear it on the weekend. I don't know if this is a work wig just because of the length of it, but some people, they'll wear longer wigs to work. So, I mean, it's definitely up to you. I just want to thank Sister Wigs for sending me this wig. And I want to thank all of my subscribers for supporting my channel, even though I can't make videos as much as I used to. But I'm going to try to make some more videos this week, actually. So keep a lookout for that. If you guys have any questions that I didn't answer in this video about this wig or about wigs in general, um, you, can link those. you can link those down below in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. I thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.